we could do to automate some of those keystrokes and if there would be a way that we could take that dictionary file that we had put or send keystrokes into this application. So there is this tool and it's called Pi Auto GUIs documentation. So this lets your Python scripts control the mouse and keyboard to automate interactions with other applications. I'm going to paste this. This will install all of the packages that we need. One of the quickest ways is that I usually go something like Python 3, um, and I'm going to do an import on PY Auto GUI, and that gives me confirmation that it imported successfully and it's ready to use. So let's look at this. Do here is let's import, and we're going to go PI Auto GUI. We're probably going to have a command where we're going to wait like five or six seconds before it actually kicks up. So let's type in, uh, let's import a time if we need to. So we could do a time dot sleep seconds open. Again, we're just going to name this test dot text and we want this to be read only for we're going to loop through this list and put it into whatever the GUI or the command line is. What we want to do is we want to start using Pi Auto GUI. But there is a triple click. So there's a try right and performs a keyboard key press down event followed by release. Word we can do our word here. I think that's actually like it. We need to create a file that has some of the strings that we're going to pass through it. Um, so code maybe sk.txt. Hello. Let's save this text. k.txt. Okay. sk.txt. And we are about to run it. All right. So let's run it now. Okay. So there's a five second sleep. And this time it's just going to input it here. We're going to pick the, we'll just go with this one right now for the moment. Let's try running it over here. All right. So three seconds or five seconds, and now we've got focus into our mouse pad. Are you impressed with this script? Go into that downloads folder and let's call FP. And so FP says, welcome to pointing fingers, point your right finger at the correct name. So now it's asking for a name. So we just put something in there and it ends. PyAutoGUI.TypeWrite, and then let's pass that in dot slash FP. So we need to call the application. Once we call the application, then we need to um, type the word. So the word that's coming from the dictionary here. Uh, then we need to press enter to our application, python3.sk, and let's see what happens here. Okay, so we missed that return key. So let's go back in here, type this we'll save it right here we're going to run it come back over to this screen and let's see if the magic works this time okay it ran it again looks like there's one enter key that we wouldn't really need to put in there let's see here um, and then um, after this it said twitch so we got it's working properly we already have a word list so let's try there we go this one And right now, this is the entire length of the code. Um, we're just importing the Pi Auto GUI, uh, setting it to sleep, giving it a file, and then going for each word typing into this directory. And we'll switch back over here to another window. This is just that downloads folder. I wonder how long this would actually take, though, in order to be successful. <laughs>